Welcome to Be Me with Shari Ware, the podcast where each day is a step towards a better you and where we focus on progress, not perfection. Join me as we embark on a journey of self-improvement and wellness, focusing on being just a little better than we were yesterday. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of the Be Me podcast. My name is Shari Ware. I'm your host and in this episode, I am going to be introducing you to hashtag fab3 and uh, the hashtag fab3 daily journal which is all designed to help you incorporate some really beneficial practices into your life uh, in a really easy simple way and it will if you are uh, living a modern stressful life where you you have a lot of things to do and um, your stress levels might be a bit higher than what you would like them to be or what is healthy for you, then this will definitely help you by incorporating this into your life. Uh, It is called the Fab 3 Daily Journal and I'm going to tell you all about it. What is it? So what is hashtag Fab 3? So I like to come up with quick, easy ways to incorporate Um, really beneficial practices into my life. This is something that I created to make it easier for myself to incorporate these things into into my daily routine. And so the catchy name I came up with it, uh, the, the catchy way that I remind myself of what it is, is the tagline that I created to go with hashtag fab3, and that is 333 to my most fabulous me. Um, And what it is, is it's three minutes three times a day focusing on three things and those three thing three things are self-love gratitude and visualization and that's because i knew that these these three things were really beneficial and it was something that i was struggling to uh, incorporate into my life on a daily basis and I really wanted to. So I created this practice and I also created um, a daily journal around it to help me to implement it. So if you've caught any of the recent episodes, um, we've talked about uh, things like mindfulness, gratitude, visualization, meditation, self-love, journaling. The last episode was on journaling. And they're all great practices. They they all have really great benefits. So there's lots of great reasons why we would want to be doing those things. Um, However, as human beings, we are amazing and we can do anything, but we quite often can't do everything, especially in this busy modern world that we live in. Um, and you're doing all the things, it doesn't leave, it quite often doesn't leave a lot of time for us to be doing um, other things, no matter how beneficial they are. By the time you um, have your work day, however you earn an income for yourself, we all have to earn an income for ourselves. So by the time you finish with your work day, by the time you've, you've picked up the kids from school or taken them to school or done all this the school thing if you have children Um, by the time you've done your food prep because most of us you know don't have private chefs preparing all our food for us by the time you've done your house cleaning and all of those things going to the gym um, or moving your body however you move your body by the time you've done all these things that we have to do that are part of our normal daily life it really quite often doesn't leave a lot of time so it's really important to find um, quick and easy ways to get these things into our lives and I feel like um, you know it may only be one minute but one minute is better than zero minutes that's how I look at it it's better for me to do one minute of something than not do it at all so um, I created hashtag fab3333 to my most fabulous me, um, focusing on those three things, self-love, gratitude and visualisation. Um, and it is as simple as doing it three times a day for um, three minutes and, and basically a minute on each thing. Now, if you're like me and you really, you're a bit, I call it CDO, um, 
because <laughs> CDO is OCD in alphabetical order. Um, if you like me and, and you're a bit pedantic, and then you'll set a timer. <laughs> and you'll set a timer for a minute so that you're spending um, an equal amount of time on each exercise. And it can it can be anything. So, for instance, um, you know, in the morning I'll do my three minutes and I'll do a minute of something um, that that I feel shows my self-love. Um, I'll do a minute of gratitude, focusing on, you know, saying some of the things that I'm grateful for, and I'll spend a minute on, um, on visualisation. Um, the self-love can be whatever, whatever makes you feel like you're giving yourself love. It could be mirror work. Um, I do that first thing in the morning. And um, I have a poem that I recite to myself. I, I just keep it on my phone because um, I don't know it off by heart. And I just um, recite that to myself in the mirror every morning. It's a beautiful poem. I put it in, in one of my books, Healthy, Beautiful, Inside and Out. Um, and sometimes it can be um, I have a practice of um, hopopono um, that I uh, do um, by touching my body all over my body and um, going through the Hopopono practice. Um, it can be anything. Whatever whatever you want to spend the one minute on that makes you feel like you're showing love to yourself, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, the gratitude, I literally just for a minute, I just think about things that I'm grateful for. Um, you know, so in the morning, I'm grateful for the beautiful sleep that I just had or for my comfortable bed or I'm grateful for um, my daughter. I'm grateful for the beautiful sunlight on my face in the morning. It doesn't matter what it is. I just for a minute, I just focus on all those things that I'm grateful for. And then a minute of visual, visualisation and and literally, it doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing, I just close my eyes and I just visualise whatever I want to visualise, whatever my goal is that I'm focused on at that point in time. And that's it, three minutes done. I, If I'm running late, I can, except for closing my eyes, um, I can do it while I'm, while I'm um, you know, running to get in the car or whatever it is. <laughs> There's no no reason why I can't do it except not I can't close my eyes when I'm <laughs> when I'm moving. I can only close my eyes when I'm you know staying in the one place. But the point I'm making is that three minutes anybody can find three minutes, and you can generally find that three times a day. Sometime it. it, it doesn't have to be at set times. I basically just go, okay, three minutes in the morning, three minutes at night, three minutes sometime during the rest of the day. And, you know, sometimes I don't get all three times in. Um, I may only get it, get to do it once um, in, uh, in the morning and once at night. Maybe I might miss the midday one or the one during the day. But uh, again, I'll say it's better than not doing it all at all. And I just feel that it's a really beautiful practice. Um, and I also created a journal to help. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, and I will, what I will do is I will put the link to the journal. It's free. You can download it for free. Um, and it has prompts in it. It has a page for morning. It has a page for during the day. And it has a page for nighttime. And then it also has a page for some extra journaling. Um, the last episode I did was on journaling. So I just feel that this is a really great way to get four really beneficial tools into your life on a daily basis in a way that is easy to implement and quick and easy, um, which means it's it's more likely going to happen than not. Uh, so I'll put the link to the journal in the show notes for you. And I will also put the link to the corresponding Be Me Bites edition, which is Be Me Bites number 20, Master Stress Relief with Easy Daily Practices, the Fab 3 way. And that will also give you some extra resources and tools that um, I don't put in the podcast for you. So I hope that is a uh, really valuable tool for you, that it becomes as valuable for you as it is for me, um, makes you feel as good as it does 
um, make me when I do it. And until the next episode, keep taking one step, step at a time. See ya. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Remember to check out the show notes. And if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you've received value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe and I'd love you to rate and review the show. Have a fabulous day.